Europe is next and it's for the most part is being isolated. Um, Russia and Ukraine signed a pact that contains all their natural gas for themselves, which deprived Europe of a major energy source, especially after the major loss of oil in the Middle East due to the war between Iran and Saudi Arabia. Um, Russia and Ukraine is keeping all the resources for themselves, which is what any nation or even what any person would do in that sort of situation, you know, to survive or help themselves first. Um, but believe it or not, Russia will actually grow potentially stronger economically in this situation because outside of the Middle East, they have one of the major um, oil deposits in the world, which in turn can make them militarily stronger. Um, um, only Russia, Ukraine, uh, the UK, um, France, and the European Union as a whole are mentioned in the game at all. And like I said, they're hardly mentioned as well. It's implied the UK is only sending non-military aid um, to the US and it's been asking Canada to increase their troop presence near the borders with the US for their own security. Um, and Europe would be in a bad economic situation too, like um, the US, um, except for a few nations like um, Britain, the Scandinavian countries and um, Germany, for example, because they're, have, they will have their own energy capabilities like Britain and the Scandinavian countries will have access to their own oil. Um, Germany has been increasingly um, developing a renewable energy program. So those nations will be a little better off, but not the rest. So, I, but like I said, I'm, I can only go on based on what um, information there is about the game's story slash universe. And that's as far as I know um, about Europe. So let's move on to the next. The only other parts of the world that I can try to talk about in this video regarding the home front uh, games of story and universe is, you know, Canada, Israel, Iran, and Saudi Arabia. I've already mentioned Canada uh, as they're following in a way the UK's is lead. Um, Israel is being left alone, likely due to their own nuclear ca capabilities, which that does make sense. And Iran and Saudi Arabia have already been mentioned that they're weakened and in a stalemate in war. And there is a possibility in the game's story that Iran would eventually be the dominant power in the Middle East. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm, like I said, I'm just going on the information based on what they said. And of course, a war between Saudi Arabia and Iran in the Middle East is always a possibility, and which in turn would greatly devastate the global e economy. Um, and one reason why they won't attack um, Israel is because they have they can strike back with nuclear attacks too. So um, why wake um, a sleeping dragon, so to speak, or shake the cage when you don't need to? You know, stuff like that. But that's as far as I know about these parts of the world. And for the little information I have about the rest of the world in the game's story, it makes sense, at least to a degree. Um, so let's uh, move on to the United States. The USA is the last um, bit, and um, this is the final part. And this is, of course, where the game's story takes place. Um, although the, the US will certainly take a big hit from a major pandemic, um, from the bird flu, much like the ongoing COVID pandemic right now, and of course the uh, war in the Middle East, but it wouldn't fully end the United States' status as the global superpower. It would greatly be reduced, that's for sure. But I wouldn't necessarily say it would end that status, for sure. Like the game's story is implied. Um, in the game's story, the um, gasoline prices has reached t nearly $20 per gallon in the story. Um, most working um, American families have a hard time making even a decent living now. And that's, in that's such an economic situation, it would make things even worse. In turn, it would affect taxes for the US government as well. Oil supply would, would certainly be limited because the uh, Middle East is you know, ravaged by war and Russia is keeping like, their oil for themselves as well. Even though oil wasn't mentioned in Russia, but that would be my best guess. Um, withdrawing the overseas military forces from the bases would certainly reduce military costs, but this will also allow nations to rise up in power 
internationally, like the pro north of reunified Korea. Um, the United States, in such a scenario um, suggested by this game's story, would certainly be weakened, especially after a massive EMP attack. But even so, um, it would be very difficult to invade the United States or the United States mainland. Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany supposedly have said that the United States is lucky. They have two weak neighbors and they're surrounded by two massive oceans. So really the only thing that they worry about on the oceans is fish. Um, this is why the, the former German emperor was so jealous of the United States and envious before World War I. Um, a pro-North reunified Korea would also need time to build up their military strength in many aspects, especially a sizable naval fleet and supporting air forces. This would also necessarily mean a cold war, you know, for time building. Even the USSR needed time if they really wanted to invade the United States. Um, despite building up a sizable naval fleet of submarines by the time of the Soviet Union's collapse. Um, this could be partly balanced out by seizing other nations' military assets, like their navy ships, for example. But that one will be partly balanced out. But even so, you still need to build a massive amount of forces. Um, however, if there is one thing um, that can unite the people in the United States, is a common cause, or in this case, a common enemy. Um, this will, of course, be better applied to the world in the event of like a major natural disaster or like an alien invasion or where the fact that aliens exist. Um, this can also be best seen um, in history for the United States during World War II, for example. Um, although there is a minor um, yet significant potential issue, which is the possible internment of certain ethnic citizens, like what happened to the Germans, Italian, Japanese Americans during World War II. Um, this was partly resolved in the game's story by a major um, U.S. resistance member um, who was a Korean American who was born and raised here in the U.S. Um, ethnic Koreans such as myself may see such a thing, but there's also a chance we may not due to certain aspects in the cultural and political awareness. Um, this will also include K-pop's as popularity, um, for example. Um, of course, you know, the unity can be um, not fully inclu included in certain aspects because um, uh, like Mexican-Americans, for example, during World War II uh, didn't get a good repertoire after World War II um, and so on and so forth. But that's just the, that's just the little things. Um, however, um, so I wouldn't be surprised if crime members or gangs would join the resistance efforts. There's a chance they might turn a blind eye to uh, a foreign invasion, but at the same time, they may not, especially if such an invasion will hinder their profits and their overall activities. If invading the United States mainland is difficult to nearly impossible, then occupying the invaded areas will actually be the harder part. So, um, the GKR in the game's story has 20 million troops for their entire territories. We're talking East Asia, so the two Koreas, Japan, all Southeast Asia, Hawaii, and the Western United States, all the way up to the Mississippi River. Oh. But not Alaska. Alaska, I don't think was mentioned in it, so let's not mention Alaska at all. Um, although they have their military does have um, an automated drone force, while the total number of those isn't known, but it's implied they have quite a few number of these uh, drones in their in their assets. The main example is like the Goliath um, ground force drone and that gun tower that um, that scans for um, people. Um, so you have to blow it up with a grenade um, close at the base. Um, the GKR can maintain order and control in the territory prior to invading the United States with a 20 million man army. However, invading and occupying the western half of the United States up to the Mississippi River, which has been irradiated, would likely require every single one of those troops. So they'll need more in order for, for such an endeavor. And while poisoning the Mississippi River with nuclear waste or radiated materials is a good military idea, 
but it's not a good economic or um, environmental issue because that river supports the entire U.S. Um, uh, Midwest, which is one of the world's major bread baskets or food production areas. Uh, um, it would cut off direct land routes from the eastern United States, so any U.S. or allied military forces would have to either travel f high over the air over the river or go around it like Vita Canada. Uh, but even if the U.S. were to withdraw all their overseas military, particularly the specific forces back to Pearl Harbor and the West Coast, um, even then, those defenses are still hard to break through. And even with a massive EMP that just permanently disrupts all electronics. Because there are still a few mechanical-based defenses where they are not affected by an EMP or even a hacker, for that matter. So it will be very difficult to do for invasion of the United States. It's not impossible, but it's almost impossible. So in conclusion, while um, the home front um, game released in 2011 by the defunct THQ and Cal Studios is still possible, yet largely unrealistic despite the high probability of likely to nearly impossible, um, North Korea would need a lot of cards in their favor and will take many, many years to um, achieve it, likely even decades to achieve such a power status. While major events in other parts of the world, like a war in the Middle East, for example, could help, um, but it will still take a while still. So um, that's the end of this video. Now let me know what you guys think in the comments and um, I'm going to see about um, ways of uh, people to support the channel with Patreons and other sources like merchandising, for example. Um, they may be already be in the links below. If not, I'll start including them. Um, and please um, support me however way um, possible, please. Um, thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.